Um, you may have noticed that I spend a lot of time in the rain. It's become a big part of my work at this point, and I even see some of you guys like going out and being inspired to shoot in the rain for the first time, which is so cool. But for the most part, people seem to just wonder why the hell I enjoy doing this. And even most filmmakers and photographers I talk to don't understand the appeal, which surprises me. So today's video is just gonna be a very chill, classic vlog going around finding some nice moody b-roll and photos and talking to you about why I enjoy going out and shooting in the rain and why you should give it a shot for yourself, maybe. And just for legal reasons, I want to make it clear that the Aiden Robbins Company Limited is not in any way responsible for any damage incurred to cameras, lenses, or other photographic equipment as a result of excessive exposure to rain or water. Before we get going, I want to briefly tell you about my good friends over at Cuts. They're sponsoring this video and they make shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, stuff you put on the top half of your body. All super minimal, flat colors, mostly earth toned, super soft and high quality. You can see the one I've got on right now is this hoodie. It's kind of like a nice moody green, fits with the vibe pretty well. When I was chatting with Cuts about how we could possibly do some work together this year, I suggested collaborating on some of these more outdoorsy, kind of hiking focused vlog videos, which typically don't perform quite as reliably as say a tutorial. And they were completely down, which is sick. I really enjoy making these videos. It seems like you guys really enjoy watching them as well. So a big thank you to Cuts for helping me to make more of these in the near future. And obviously just super minimal, clean, high quality products. So there'll be an affiliate link in the description where you can check it out for yourself and save some cash on anything you may choose to order. All that being said, as much as I love this hoodie, I am going to cover it back up with this raincoat for the rest of the video so that I'm not completely soaked and miserable for the entirety of today. Exhibit A for <laughs> why I love shooting in this weather so much should be kind of obvious. I mean, come on, look at this. It's absolutely stunning. It's ridiculous. You get that perfectly soft light, nice, vivid, deep colors. If you're lucky, like we are today, you get fog and crazy clouds all over the place. If you have like a smooth surface, like a road, it gets rain on it and gets very reflective, adds a lot more depth into your scene, I can go on and on. It's just, it's visually ridiculous. I'm absolutely in love with this just visual aesthetic, I guess. You could probably infer that looking at the things I post on the internet, but. I knew it was gonna be rainy. I did not anticipate it being this cold. So exhibit B, another little perk of going out in bad weather like this is that rainy, moody weather does a great job of scaring most people away from otherwise crowded locations. Like it's April, the snow's melting, this area is opening back up from the winter. So a lot of people would normally be out here. It's a Saturday morning, but 
it's rainy, so no one wants to come out today. And that not only, you know, makes it easier to shoot and makes the experience a little more special and individual for me, but it also carries over to the work because I'm able to capture and share things that most people just aren't used to seeing because they're not going out in these kinds of conditions. So when I post these photos and videos that were shot in the fog and the rain and moody conditions, I get plenty of comments asking, you know, is this even real or where do I go to find a scene like this? And the answer is you just have to go out in bad weather. Maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like rain adds so much like energy to your shoot and to your day. Like not just visually, it does add a lot of energy visually to the footage, but just like the whole experience. Like there's a rush almost, it's exhilarating. You're more in the moment, you do everything a little faster, and then when you finally get back to the car and it's not super loud, you can feel the warm, the warm air on your, your chilly, wet fingers. There's a lot of adrenaline, you know? And as a, a human, feeling like you're, you're at the top of the entire food chain all the time, it can be good, you know? Sometimes you need to be humbled a little bit and be reminded that you're a participant in this whole thing and not just an observer and that you're not above whatever mother nature wants to freaking throw at you. To appreciate the outdoors, you have to let it kind of smack you in the face from time to time. To finish this video off, I just want to clarify that I can completely understand why most people don't want to go out and shoot in the rain. It's absolutely miserable and it is quite risky for your gear. I'm actually filming this on my Lumix S5 right now because the EOS R that I usually shoot vlogs on that I was using for the first part of this video, not really working anymore because of the rain. It'll probably be back to full full functionality within a couple days. That's usually how these things go, but for now it's just completely glitching out because it's been in the rain all day. I have a long history of water damaging gear by filming in the rain. I broke my phone for a couple days earlier this year. I usually have to leave my lenses out to dry for a few days after this kind of shoot because they get water inside of them. This lens actually just had that happen. And this Canon EOS R that I was just talking about has plenty of like tiny little minor bugs and glitches as a result of using it in the rain. Like the screen is a little pixelated, like the screen is lower resolution than it was when I got it. Doesn't make any sense. So yeah, always just be careful and do this kind of thing like at your own risk.
risk. I don't want anyone going out and breaking their camera because I said they should go shoot in the rain. I just want to make sure you know the risks. I guess if there's a main theme to end this video on, it's that if you want to get shots other people aren't getting, you're gonna have to go do something other people aren't willing to do. That could be getting up ridiculously early, spending hours in Photoshop, taking the same photo over and over again for months until you completely nail it. For me, it seems to be going out and shooting in pretty miserable weather conditions. And I guess after a couple years of doing this all the time, I've had no choice but to learn to love it. I'll see you next week.